exciting night inside McCaslin Fieldhouse as wrestling is back. After COVID-19 shut down the season just before the championships last year, we're ready to roll in 2021. And what a matchup on tap here tonight as Oklahoma welcomes Arizona State. Well, hi again, everyone, and welcome inside historic McCaslin Fieldhouse, along with the coach, Jack Spades. I'm Chris Blake, sitting in for Chad McKee tonight. And, of course, OU Wrestling on Sooner Sports TV is presented by OU Health. The future of health is here. What a challenging matchup for Lou Roselli and his squad to take on Arizona State tonight. Coach, what are the keys to the Sooners' victory here this evening? So here's the deal. This is January, and, and generally speaking, January is midseason. Right. And yet Arizona State's had one match. The Sooners have had none. The key to victory is being able to come out and wrestle like you're in midseason form. <laughs> so the key is who's going to come to wrestle. Both coaches feel they're ready, but until you get under the lights, you'll never know. Well, it's going to be an exciting evening. What a challenging and exciting night here for Oklahoma Sooner Athletics as we welcome back wrestling and coach hit it on the head. Typically, we're in our mid-season mindset, but it's the season opener for the Sooners. We'll get things rolling with the first match of the night next. You're watching Sooner Wrestling, presented by OU Health. The future of health is free. This is not good. Thank you to our Cornerstone Television partners, OU Health, Anheuser-Busch, and the OU College of Professional and Continuing Studies, and our community partners, Landers Auto Group, Coca-Cola, and OU Health. There's a good look at Lou Roselli in his starting lineup. We expect to see Mason Nafee, which will make his debut for the Sooners here to start things off at 125. And I know, Coach, uh, you're excited to see what happens at 149. Mitch Moore has been solid throughout his career. Uh, and a little Justin Thomas tonight. The experience of those two guys this evening will be fun to watch, won't it? Well, yeah. And, of course, we want to see what Mitch Moore has. We know from the past he's a monster on top. He comes to compete. And Justin Thomas, this is the bout of the night tonight. He, him against Ja'Cory Team of Arizona State. There is Lou Roselli in his fifth season already. Uh, has done a part of the fourth season already. He's done an incredible job. We're underway as Mason Nafee will get things started for the Sooners, making his debut against Brandon Courtney here at 125. And we haven't seen Mason before, so this is going to be a good test for him. Brandon Courtney is, in Coach Jones's words, a little dart. He's a speedster. He's slick. And his number five ranking attests to it. So Coach Jones, Zeke Jones, who's in his seventh season with the Sun Devils, has a new little coaching staff. Guys that you're familiar with, Coach. We'll get to that as the evening bears on. I actually know those guys very well. Uh, Lee Pritz coached my boys at, at Missouri. Frank Molinaro was here last year, a close personal friend and a great coach. And all wrestling fans know the name Perry and Mark Perry, uh, along with Chris Perry, and along with Mark Sr. were all great coaches. Battle going on here by Nafee trying to gain some control with the Goodyear, Arizona product, Brandon Courtney. Well, let me tell you, I like Mason's poise. I like his positioning. No, no, no. No points awarded. The Arizona State bench wanted it. They won't get it. Well, and only in behind standing, if you touch, is there no reaction time. I know the excitement level from the Nafee family coach. You mentioned the close ties for me personally. This is a big moment. No Mason, Mason's father worked with his, what would be his uncle Ryan up in the Tulsa media for the longest time. He is, he is an outstanding athlete. Goes with a single leg there, nothing yet. This would be huge. If they could get a, one of the first two weights, get a win there, that would be key to victory. Now, here's the other thing. Brandon Courtney is an incredible freestyle wrestler. The test is going to be how he does on bottom. Can imagine that nervous energy right now for Mason Nathan. Yeah, and this is his first test, so we don't know how he's going to hold up conditioning-wise. First time down a weight as well. 
And COVID issues have affected both of these programs, Sooners in Arizona State. Sun Devils, I think even tested every single day throughout things. Yeah, I think it's three times a week for the Sooners. Boy, that's a slick go behind. Nice, Gramby. No, yeah, there's two. Uh-oh, watch out for back points. Nearly got him cradled, but a little advantage time here, a little riding time for Oscar, pardon me, Courtney. An escape here would be big. He looks, Mason looks like he's a little tired right now. Got to get that head off the mat. I'm running down here. The first. If you're trying to get that escape, Coach, he's down 2-0. Well, we didn't see much action there, and that concerns me. We don't know how he made weight. He's big. If you don't make weight right, that really takes a toll on you. Good sense of a little bit of fatigue for Mason. There is the aforementioned Zeke Jones, the head coach, seventh year at Arizona State. We'll roll through their lineup as we're set to start. You're going to make up some ground. This uh, That's where he needed to do it. Nice shrug attempt by Courtney. You don't want to play that edge. That's where you get stalling against you. There's a word you mentioned, like a dart, whenever he's out there trying to make a Boy, and he's move got, for Courtney. He's got great lateral motion, Courtney. Quick feet. The way that he was described as someone that doesn't lose on their feet fast. Risen to number six, still has three years to go. Was ranked seventh last year when the season ended. <clears throat> Gets a couple more here. He's got a 5-0 lead right now over Nafee. You may see him start letting Mason oh. up, start looking for bonus points. <laughs> He's nearing that <laughs> riding time point. Yeah. So one of the things, see what Mason's doing, trying to push up. You don't push up, you push back. You push up, you're carrying your opponent's weight. It takes more out of you. There you go, just as you called, Coach. He lets him up. Mason gets that point. And there's a big stalling factor. He might get another one there. I think he's going to be okay. I think he's a tough kid that comes to fight. I think maybe first match, getting down the weight for the first time is taking a toll. He's at 125. Whenever he weighed in, it was, well, as, as most of these, was very much, as far as the weights are concerned, right on the line. Mason weighed at 124.7. A big takedown for... The Arizona State sophomore, he is looking good here as Courtney. So I mentioned Mason's poise and I mentioned his positioning. Well, what happens is when fatigue sets in, that positioning gets worse and Brandon Courtney's taking advantage of it. So it's sophomore Courtney, technically a redshirt junior out of Desert Eagle High School. Three-time Arizona State High School champ. Mason was a member of the 2019 National Runner-Up JUCO Championship and He's in big trouble here, down 7-1. to one. Yeah, it's looking like bonus points here. But I still think he's he's got potential. I like the way he came out. He just needs to get in a little better shape, and that may be a function of weight. There's Arizona State starting lineup. A lot of excitement about Colton Schultz later on this evening. They're big heavyweight. One of the bigger names in collegiate wrestling. And yeah. This is where we're in trouble. This is why you can't go backwards. You've got a hold position in the center of the mat. 8-2. Nafee trails. He's fighting, though. Well, that's what Mason needs. He needs the rest to confer because he <laughs> Give needs him a little, little break. break. <laughs> yeah, and, and not only for conditioning, but sometimes just for poise. Pull yourself together. What are they questioning here? Maybe a clock issue. That's exactly what our officials looking at right now. One masked up here inside. It's a limited capacity, but coach, I feel like we have a great crowd here this evening at McCaslin Fieldhouse for this event. Yeah, it's it's as many as they would allow. Yeah, they packed them in. Here we go. They got the clock issue taken care of. Mason Nafee will try to rally down eight to two here. The third round. Well, he's moving well now. I like that. So maybe it was poise. Head down, hands down, but you can't go backwards. 
It's going to get dinged again. It's tough to go up against a, an established foe here in your debut for the University of Oklahoma. You got to circle in. He's going to need a pin, and he's not in position to get there. Another warning. Oh. So what happens is when they go out of bounds, the referee can only make one of two calls. Either there's action going out of bounds or someone is stalling. And unfortunately, it's us that's doing the stalling. 9-2. Final minute here of this first match. Hold position and wait for that shot. Get a pancake. Get a go behind. But don't give it up with stalling. Good battle here, but trying to shoot, nothing there. I'll tell you, Courtney's relentless, though, isn't he? Well, he is a bulldog. Tough matchup. Yeah, tough way to start your career, but he'll get better. The co OU coaching staff, they know what they're doing. They coach their guys up. We'll be wrestling at 125, potentially most of the season. Tommy Hoskins is another name. We'll be... Hearing as the majority of the season rolls on here for OU Wrestling and Lou Roselli. There's another Roselli that might be a factor, and that's Lou's son, Jordan. Yep. He'll be wrestling exhibition, I believe, tonight. Yeah, five exhibition matches after we're done tonight. Closing moments here. You can just sense how that, challenging this has been for Navy. He's left it all out here. and Tough matchup and a tough start for the Sooners here this evening. Oh, so it is a major because he's got the right thing. Welcome to the end of the match. A major decision goes to Courtney. So a major decision for Brandon Courtney here to start things off. So Arizona State off to a 4-0 lead. And those bonus points are big. That one point could be a huge factor. 